The question asks is how do I change eight and a half percent to fraction and decimal form? The answer is uh, 33 over 400 and 0 0.0825. So here's how we get it. Uh, this is actually a pretty important concept. When you're changing a number between the um, decimal and this is percentage, and here's the fraction. Okay, be, be able to go in between all those two tri three triangles. So these sides are very important. So let's start over here. We were giving eight and a half percent. Okay, first of all, if you have a quarter, if you do a long division, long division, you'll see this is uh, eight plus a quarter. The whole thing has a percent on it, right? And a quarter here, we'll do a long division over here, one over four, okay? Don't have enough zeros, so I'll put a zero here. And this is a two, eight, go in there, there's two, five, so zero point two five. So eight plus zero point two five percent. So basically eight and a half, what really we have is eight point two five percent. So far so good. So this is what we're given here, equal to eight point two five. Percent, right? Let's do the uh, fraction. So a percent literally means per hundred. So what we're gonna do is when you change things to a percent uh, away from 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 the percentage to fraction, going this way. What you want to do is this. You want to do eight point two five. You literally you're gonna write per hundred instead of doing the percent sign. Okay. And from here, you're gonna do the multiply by 100 because you don't want the decimal here. It looks weird. And then this time since there's two decimal places, then you need the two zeros to counterbalance it. You multiply the top and the bottom to not change the um, value. And then from here you have 825 over 10,000. Okay, common denominator, um, I believe, is a 25 here. So you divide it by 25, and here you're going to have 33 over 400. Okay, so this is how we got from the percent to a uh, fraction over here now. Now let's change it into the decimals, okay? 8.25 divided by 100. Okay. Now think about it. When something divided by 100, it gets smaller. So you know you're going to have 8 two, five, this is the dot you have before. You're going to get smaller, so you're going to put some zeros be before it. And here's what you do. If you're going to divide it by 200, you're going to move the decimal once, twice. Okay, literally put it there. So your answer is 0 0.0825. So if it divided by 100, you move it twice. Okay, here's your answer. Now, if you were to convert divided by 1,000, what would you do? exactly the same thing you have three zeros so you're gonna move three times okay so here you do eight two five you know it's gonna be smaller so you're gonna put some zeros in front and then you're gonna grab where you started you're gonna move three times one two three okay so the answer is zero point zero zero eight two five all right that wasn't too bad have a confident day